I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, prelate of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, and very proud board member of CFAD, Christian Families Against Destructive Decisions, a move of God that God gave to the Apostle Tommy Quick to introduce to the world to fight against the things that are going on and to promote God's truth. CFAD as an organization could not be more timely. The Bible says this in Psalms 11 and verse number three, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Word foundation here is a metaphor for the established uh, institutions of our society. We know of three major established institutions that are under tremendous attack. The marriage, and we know how the God of the Bible feels about marriage because it was his first institution. God brought Eve to Adam and Moses said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. This is the God of the Bible, my friends, establishing the foundation of marriage, the institution of marriage. Upon marriage, he establishes the foundation of the family. We see that Adam knew his wife, Eve, and she brought forth uh, sons, twin boys, Cain and Abel. Now we see God's second uh, foundation, God's second institution that he established, and that is the family. We see Cain and Abel offering sacrifices to God, which is the establishment of the third uh, foundation and institution, which is worship, the church. And in this day and time, we see these three major foundations under attack and Satan is trying to destroy them. Well, I have good news for you. God has raised up a man of God and has given him a vision to fight against these forces that are coming against God's major institutions, the church, the family, the marriage. Oftentimes you hear the apostle speak of the word family. He uses that one word to describe the marriage, the family, as well as uh, the house of worship. And he is exactly right in fighting against and pushing back against Satan attacks on God's sacred institutions. As African-American preachers, we see what has happened to our community as a result of the family and the marriage and the church being out of order or in chaos. In most of our families today, long before we see marriage, we see families. 70 to 73% of all African-American children are born to homes where there's no dad. Well, there's no marriage there. So it's out of order. There are single parent families and we're not judging any single parent families. I say to the, that single mom or single dad, especially to the single mom, thanks for giving birth. Thanks for having the child. But the God of the Bible has established order. Thank God for the CFAD organization, which is fighting to restore the order that the God of the Bible put into in the world in the first place. And God established these foundations and institutions, not for the foundations and institutions to lead you to them, but to lead you to Christ, the marriage, the, the, the family answers a question. Family points us to someone else. The destination is not family. The destination is the God of the Bible, the Christian doctrine. Even Paul describes the relationship between a husband and his wife to that relationship that Christ has with the church. And as never before, people need to know God's truth. Well, my friends, there's an organization uh, in the body of Christ today that is promoting the truth of God and and we're seeing tremendous results. We're seeing people get married at younger and younger ages. Thank God many of us know and understand the importance of having a marriage culture in our church. We celebrate marriage. We promote marriage. And my friends, that is marriage between a man and a woman. 
not marriage between two persons. You see, the devil is trying to slip in and to redefine things. Marriage is not a union between two persons. Marriage is a union between a man and a woman. Man born male, woman born female, and may the God of the Bible bless that union to last for a lifetime. If this foundation, if the marriage is off, then the family is thrown off. If the family is thrown off, the church is thrown off. Thank you, Apostle Tommy Quick. Thank you for what you are doing in leading in this area, speaking to these issues and speaking to them with power, authority, and wisdom. I am thrilled to be a board member of the CFAD organization. Now, we're going to have a tremendous conference that's coming up. It is the third annual CFAD conference. And li listen to the, 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 the theme, Navigating the Future, How Families Can Thrive in the Face of Change. My friends, this, this, this powerful, powerful move of God will take place August the 24th through the 26th at the, at the headquarters of CFAD, the Promised Land Church of God in Christ, 150 Kensington Drive, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Now, you don't want to miss this powerful, powerful conference that's going to take place. Oh, the speakers that are confirmed, the Apostle Tommy E. Quick, he's confirmed, of course, Dr. Dr. Robert Woodson of the Woodson Institute. He's confirmed. Yours truly, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. I will be there. I am confirmed. Uh, the Bishop Dean Nelson, he is confirmed to be a part of this move of God. Judge Cheryl Allen, what a woman of God she is. She is confirmed. These are some of the champions of the faith. God is using these persons, and there are many others, many I haven't mentioned, but God is using these individuals to promote God's truth and to shake and shake the world and reshape the home and the family. Listen to the topics, the right of parents with their children, the changing definitions of marriage and family, combating gender dysphoria, public education. Look at this, dumbing down your children, child abuse, the over-sexualization of society, the state of manhood and its challenges, and there are many more. I want to invite you, I want you to take out the time, remember it's August the 24th through the 26th, to be a part of this move of God. God spoke to Apostle Quick when, and uh, gave him words from the great prophet Malachi. And uh, I want to read this to you because it will bless you real good and give you a greater idea of what CFAD is all about. God says this, Behold, I send you Elijah, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. What a powerful word of prophecy about the ministry of John the Baptist. John the Baptist came in the spirit of the prophet Elijah. And John the way he turned the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers, oh, it is overwhelmingly clear. When you read about his ministry in Matthew's gospel, chapter number three, you see that John came preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And not only did he, he preached the kingdom of heaven, but it was John who introduced the Messiah, Jesus Christ to the entire world. We are Christian families against destructive decisions. We are for people accepting God's truth because we know at CFAD that the most powerful thing in existence is the word of God and the truth of God, the truth about, and the truth about God. 
God's standards, the identity of the God of the Bible, and all of this is revealed in the Word of God. I want to say to those p- families who are watching this today, that you may be watching this and say, well, I don't know if I need CFAD because we're, we're a family. Uh, I, I'm married to my wife. We have lovely children. We have, uh, we're having a nice time. Our kids are, are going to college or our family is uh, the, w- w- the kids at soccer, the kids play and basketball, the children getting along. Uh, well, why do we need CFAD? Well, you need CFAD because that is not enough. Mom, dad, you want your children to be on their way to heaven. Kids, you want your parents to be on their way to heaven. Families, you want to know who the God of the Bible is. It doesn't stop with the family. It is the fa- He established the family so that the family which is the best institution, is the institution that will point the children to Jesus Christ and the children will point their generation to Jesus Christ. The God of the Bible said this in Deuteronomy chapter number six. You know that chapter where you find the great Shema. It says this in verse seven, thou shalt teach them, speaking of God's words. As a matter of fact, let me back up to verse six. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hands, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Look at this. He's saying right here, from the family unit, this great unit, this great institution, this great uh, foundation that the God of the Bible established, it's a st- it is the best setting. It's better than the public school. It's better than uh, uh, the arena. It's better than the ball game. It's better than any other institution from the home, from the home. Kids are to learn about the God of the Bible and parents are to teach uh, the children about the God of the Bible while you're walking, while you're having dinner, when you're, when you're on, your, on your way to bed at night. Keep it before the children. And you know what happens? It causes our church services. When we come together and we, we worship, it causes it to be so much better because what is being taught in the, in the church is being undergirded at home. And what's being taught at home is being undergirded at the church. It wouldn't it be something, my friends, if the ethos of your church, if you're in a Bible believing church, is the same as the ethos in your home and vice versa. Well, this is one another one of the missions of CFAD to make sure that uh, what is taught at church is taught in the home and what is taught in the home is what's taught at church. The truth is we at CFAD know that everybody needs to know who Jesus is and that no matter how successful your home may be, no matter because uh, we know that uh, there are people who've never accepted Christ as Savior, and yet they raise decent children. Yet they live good lives. They go on cruises. They take family vacations. They do a whole lot of things. But my friends, if you leave here, and we all are going to leave, and you don't know who Jesus is, you've missed the mark. And that's CFAD. We don't want you to miss the mark. The greatest, most destructive decision is the decision to say no to Jesus Christ, is the decision to say no to the God of the Bible. We want you to tell him yes. We want you to let him in your heart. We want you to come to know him. We know Jesus and we love Jesus. And I'll tell you right now, as a board member of CFAD and as a born again Christian, there's no life like serving the God of the Bible. There's nothing like it. He's wonderful. He's kind. He's holy. He'll, he'll wash away all of your sin and he'll have you where you know, where you will know that if you don't wake up in the morning, everything will be just fine. 
Thank God for all of the things that we do socially. We're fighting the good fight of faith. We're pushing back against the left. We're pushing back against the socialists, the Marxists. We're pushing back against these uh, institutions that are in the earth to try and to destroy the home, try to keep all of our men out of the house, uh, confusing our children and, 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 and adults, quite frankly, about their sexuality. There is an answer. What can the righteous do? The answer is found in Psalms 11. We're reminded that God is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. What can the righteous do? The righteous can look up. The righteous can look to the word of God. The righteous can look to the God of the Bible and see that there is hope. And my friends, this is what CFAD is all about. Join us on August the 24th through the 26th. Come and be a part of this great conference. Or you're going to be blessed. You're going to meet some of the finest, most friendly, loving Christians you'll ever meet. I want to say to the pastors out there, CFAD will bless your church. It will bless your home. It will bless your community. It's a powerful organization. And we're going to have a tremendous move of God. God bless you. And thank you for this opportunity to speak for Christian families against destructive decisions. Go out and make it a great day. God bless.